So in the last lecture we talked about the best ways to build links for your site but there is another way and it's actually paying for the links. So I just wanted to call this out separately on a lecture and discuss it a little bit because it may be something that you've seen, heard about and so let's explain a little bit more about this. Paying for li links really comes under the heading of Black Hat SEO and Black Hat is a reference to the old cowboy movies where the bad guy wore the black hat. So you probably get a sense that this is something a little bit risky that's not playing by the rules exactly. Um, so let's talk about paying for links a little bit more. The first thing to note is that uh, generally when you're paying for links you can go onto a freelancing site, you're paying maybe five or ten dollars and really what those people are doing are creating links generally through things like blog comments, form signatures, pure directories, user profiles and other types of directories. Now the thing is that generally these links offer the lowest amount of value, this, the lowest amount of power in these links because they're unlikely to come from authority sites and they're unlikely to come from sites that are within your niche. So if you remember those were the characteristics of some of the uh, of powerful backlinks. So the other very important thing to consider, and this is really where the risk comes in, is that recent updates to Google's algorithm means that a site can be penalized or suppressed if they have engaged in manipulative link building. So this is a, a relatively new addition to Google's algorithm that they will actually negatively affect your your chances of ranking in the search engines if they determine that you've trying to manipulate uh, link building. So that's really the main risk about this method. Um, what I thought would be interesting is to maybe show you an example of where things can go wrong. And I had a client that had bought a uh, a link building package from one of these freelancing sites and I'm going to show you that it's very obvious to anybody that this is very manipulative, looks very unnatural. So let's have a look at that. Great, so this is the uh, client that I was saying that had bought the backlinks package and this is just a screenshot because I didn't want to kind of show um, who it was. But essentially this is a, I've used a backlinks checker tool. It's called AH ahref site explorer we're going to look at this how to check backlinks profile a bit more in more detail in a further lecture but really the important point here is that you can see that this looks very unnatural they've almost no links then a huge surge in a very short space of time and then a lot of them have dropped off as as well so you can see that a lot of the do follow links these are the blue blue ones the new links were then subsequently lost and um, so it looks very unnatural um, and if we can see it so obviously like this in a backlinks checker tool you can be sure that Google uh, picked up on this as well. So another interesting point is when I did a pulled an SEO report for these guys I saw that the top five keywords on their site were Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, these are all types of drugs I think. So obviously what happened is when the person who bought, when the, the guy who owns the site, he handed over the login details to the, the backlinks guy. What the guy actually did was then put, in, put a load of links on this guy's site pointing to all these other sites about Viagra etc. So the double whammy of confusing Google in terms of SEO on page optimization about what your site is about because they have all these new keywords in there plus as well the bad reputation that looks all these spammy sites pointing to you now so question is then how do you get rid of these um, links that are pointing you from around the internet in short it's a difficult and slow process you can use what's called the Google disavow tool which is in the Google Webmasters tool um, where you basically say to Google these are all the links I want you to ignore them please because these are spammy etc but if you really want to be sure the only way to remove them is to actually do manual outreach and email the people 
where the sites who have these site the links pointing back to you and ask them to remove them. So again, a very tedious um, process um, that can take a lot of time. So in short, what I'm saying is that it's messy to clean up. It's risky from a search engine perspective. I'm not saying that buying links can't work. I think it can in certain circumstances, but I'm just showing you this is kind of worst case scenario, what can happen.